Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so that you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadai Shakur. You can also follow the Queen Amadai Shakur fan page and you can find me on Twitter at Goddess 27 Okay, so let's get into it. So now listen to this. So there is a basketball player from the U.S. by the name of Brittany Grinner, who's over in Russia, and she's been arrested. She's in custody. Now, it'll be very difficult to get detained, um, to get detained U.S. basketball star Brittany Grinner out of Russia. This is what a lawmaker has said. And, of course, it's due to what's going on with them in the Ukraine. Now, I said it's not even clear exactly when U.S. basketball star Brittany Grinner was arrested in Russia on his drug charges. But family and friends are demanding the two-time Olympic champion's release. And hundreds of strangers have joined the effort as U.S.-Russian tensions escalate amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So, I mean, talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. So Grinner, who's 31 years old, is a championship-winning basketball player with the WNBA's Phoenix Mercury and spends her off seasons playing for the Russian team, UMMC Ekaterinburg. I hope I said that right. Now the Russian Federal Customs Service said an American at Shiremayetvio uh, airport was carrying harsh or hash oil, carrying hash oil. Now Russia's Interfax News Agency quoted a statement from the Customs Service, uh, which did not identify the traveler by name at first. They said, as a U.S. citizen uh, was passing through the Green Channel at Sheremetyevo Airport, uh, upon arriving from New York, a working dog from the Sheremetyevo, have to say that carefully, Sheremetyevo Customs K-9 Department, uh, they detected the possible presence of narcotic substances in the accompanying luggage. They said the customs inspection of the hand luggage being carried by the U.S. citizen confirmed the, president, the presence of vapes with specifically, uh, with specifically smelling liquid. And an expert determined that the liquid was cannabis oil or a hash oil, which is a narcotic substance. So the customs agency said the arrest happened in February, but the exact date was not given. Now, the New York Times was first to report Brenner's arrest. Her whereabouts since her arrest also remain uncertain. This is all sounding very strange. Now, Brenner's or ordeal comes as the Russian invasion of Ukraine is in its second week. President Vladimir Putin issued a series of threats Saturday against Ukraine as well as Western powers, saying the sanctions introduced on his company, on his country, are equivalent to a declaration of war. Now, a member of the U.S. House Armed Services Committee said it's going to be very difficult to get Ritter out of Russia. Our diplomatic relationships with Russia are non-existent at the moment. This is what Democratic Rep uh, Representative John Garamendi of California told CNN on Monday. This is serious. Now, saying perhaps during the various negotiations that may take place, she might be able to be one of the solutions. I don't know. He also noted that Russia has some very, very strict LGBTQ rules and laws, though it's not, though it's not clear whether those rules and laws might impact Brenner's case. So they say more than 1,000 people have signed the Secure Brittany Brenner Swift uh, and Safe Return to the U.S., on, on the petition on change.org. Now, journalist Tamron Spruill, who covers women's basketball, stated um, started the online petition on Saturday. Now, Grinner is a beloved global citizen who has her used her platform since her entry into the WNBA to help others. This is what they put on their webpage. So anyway, honey, I'm going to show the footage. This is very sad. Definitely bad news. I mean, but here's the thing. When you go to other countries outside of your own, of course, you have to be very careful. Like they have sometimes much harsher penalties for little minuscule things that you can get away with at home. Let us not forget that 16 year old boy who years ago, over a decade ago, right, went over to Singapore on a vacation 
and then got arrested for spraying graffiti and had to get like, um, I think he had to get like 20, he got, he, he got caned like 20 times, I believe. And that's where they beat you with like a big, long piece of bamboo wood or something. I think they soak it in something to make it wet, like saturated, and then beat you on your bare bottom with it. Like he literally had to get, I don't remember how many licks, but it was at least 20 or more. Okay. So you have to be careful what you're doing over these other countries, honey. This is just all so crazy. You shouldn't be committing crimes in other countries anyway. That's what you shouldn't be doing. Okay. I'm not saying she committed the crime because I don't know if this is all, you know, if she's guilty or not, but I'm just saying that it's just not a good idea to do these things in my opinion. So everyone, please like and share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click the notification bell and click the word all so that you're notified each time I go live. Thank you in advance. As the diplomatic ties between the U.S. and Russia crumble, a WNBA star is caught in the middle. Phoenix Mercury Center Brittany Griner was arrested on drug charges after Russian customs officials said they found vape cartridges that contained cannabis oil in her luggage at an airport near Moscow in February. Griner remains in custody. I've talked to a couple of sources and they said it's been a couple of weeks that this has been going on, uh, one source said, since the NBA All-Star Game. Secretary of State Antony Blinken gave few specifics on Greiner's case. Whenever an American is detained anywhere in the world, uh, we, of course, stand ready to provide every possible assistance. Um, and that includes in Russia. The episode comes as the United States has implemented economic sanctions on Russia as its assault on Ukraine intensifies. What does the timing of the detention tell you? I think it tells you everything. They, um, the trajectory of the case now will probably be different. And so they will definitely look for a sort of a certain bargaining chip effect, propaganda effect. Given the timing of this, does the U.S. have limited leverage given what's going on in Ukraine? Oh, for sure. So uh, President Putin has declared that the West is at war with him uh, by levying these economic sanctions. He has likened them to war. And so just being an American citizen who can potentially be accused of carrying um, a substance she was not supposed to be carrying. Of course, whether that actually corresponds to the facts, we don't even know. And I wouldn't put anything beyond the authorities there. Um, but so, yeah, it, this, this is probably a propaganda trick. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, who represents Griner's home <laughs> city of Houston, calling for her release. I don't want to disregard a sovereign nation, but Putin has disregarded sovereign nations his entire service in this world. And anyone that is killing and attacking and destroying Ukraine, their neighboring country that has not bothered them, has no right to hold Miss Griner, period. And Griner's wife breaking her silence in an Instagram post, thanking everyone for their support and writing, quote, please honor our privacy as we continue to work on getting my wife home safely. Back home in Houston, Griner's high school coach grew emotional, worried Griner could face severe consequences. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is that this will become a, um, that she'll be a political pawn. If she by any chance watches this story, what would you tell her? I would tell her, please know that you are loved by so many people. Um, you've always had a true resolve and grit to get to the finish line and know that it's going. you will get to the finish line of this trial you're going through, this ordeal. The WNBA telling CNN that all of the athletes that were competing in Russia and Ukraine have exited those countries except for Griner. 
the U.S. Department of State issuing a do not travel advisory for Russia. And the reasons listed are very telling. It, of course, includes Russia's invasion of Ukraine, but it also says that officials there, government officials, could harass U.S. citizens, that the U.S. government right now has limited ability to help U.S. citizens in Russia, and also that Russians, uh, that U.S. citizens who are in Russia could see the arbitrary enforcement of the law there, Erica. And of course, right now, the focus for the friends and family of Brittany Griner is to return her to the United States. Wow. So you all heard that. That is definitely a scary situation for anyone to be in. I can only imagine. And even more scary for a black person, okay? And then you're over in Russia when they're on the brink of war with the U.S. And the U.S. is saying that there's limited things that they can do. Because right now, I can guarantee you, Putin is not trying to negotiate with the U.S. He's already said that the West has basically declared war on him from what he's saying, you know? So... This is all so bad. This is really bad. And that woman's been there at least for a couple of weeks. All the rest of her teammates are going home. You have to be careful what you are doing in these other countries. I don't know what she did. I mean, I know what they're accusing her, but I don't know if she actually did it. I hope that she's able to prove that she didn't, honey. But there's no telling how long they'll even hold her before she gets a trial or anything. And they are probably absolutely going to do just that, give her the harshest punishment, you know, uh, just to prove a point. Because of all the stuff that's going on. So this is just a bad situation for anybody to be in. So I wish her all the best. I hope that, you know, she gets out of there, that they're able to kind of come to some type of resolve quickly. Okay? Because I cannot imagine. But anyway, with that all being said, please like and share. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so that you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadai Shakur. You can also follow the Queen Amadai Shakur fan page and follow me on Twitter at dgoddess27. And please send up a prayer for Brittany Griner because uh, this, she's going to need it, all right? So until next time, I will talk to you all again soon.